a super curious client begins by always thinking there will be many different ways to use a new word or phrase. They always ask if they can use a phrase this way or that way. Always full of questions. They're always wanting a deeper understanding before moving forward. A super curious client becomes confident in English communication much faster. Hi, it's Grant. In this video, I discuss the mindset of how important it is to be very, very curious. In fact, be super curious about everything about English. This is difficult and nobody knows it all. And it's really a great benefit to have your mind be really curious. And I'll explain what I mean in this video. Enjoy the video. Have you ever noticed that you learn faster when you're really interested in something? Studies show that when we're curious, we learn better. This is true for English too. If you are really interested in English words, how to make sentences, and how to share your ideas in business, you'll get better, faster. For example, if you're always curious how business English words work together in a particular way, you will quickly sound more like someone who has spoken English all their life. Becoming confident in business English is really difficult. You must develop a mindset of curiosity. There are so many common words that have different meanings. Learning the different meanings of words and how they apply to business becomes much more enjoyable when you're curious. I know, many of you are very smart. You learn things quickly. But to become naturally confident with English, you need more than that. You need to be super curious, always looking deeper and always wanting to know more. English has many little rules and special ways of saying things. If you really want to use English naturally, you must be very, very curious. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. What a great quote from Albert Einstein. My most successful clients want to know everything about English. They don't rush. They take their time. They want to understand everything 100% before they go to the next topic. And in my experience, I have two different types of clients. One type of client ends up with a very deep understanding of English. English becomes much more comfortable for one type of client. The other type of client always feels like they're in a hurry, and can't wait to finish one thing and get to the next. The second type of client it takes a very long time to become naturally confident in English. Let me explain. When I introduce a word or phrase to one type of client, they quickly tell me, yes, I know that word. When I ask if they realize there are many different definitions for the same word or phrase, they're surprised and they're unaware that they can use the word in different ways. This type of client is generally not curious and only wants to learn a word and move forward to the next word. The idea of progress to this client is usually how many vocabulary words can we discuss in an hour? I call this client the, yeah, I know that client. On the other hand, the other type of client has a very different mindset. I call this type of client the super curious client. A super curious client begins by always thinking 
There will be many different ways to use a new word or phrase. They always ask if they can use a phrase this way or that way. Always full of questions. They're always wanting a deeper understanding before moving forward. A super curious client becomes confident in English communication much faster. They might not learn as many words in the same time period as the, yeah, I know that client, but there's a significant difference in their natural and confident use of English. What can you do? Here's how you can take action. First, don't be the, yeah, I know that client. Think of learning English like a fun puzzle. Be excited about every new thing you learn. Always strive to know more. Always ask questions. This way of thinking will help you have a much deeper understanding of how to use the language. Be super curious. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.